Hi, Brett. Hey, Paul. Welcome to my lab. Thank you. What are we doing today? We are doing a weapon of choice edit. Oh. The Blue Dragon that's been out and about for the last few months. This is my first time back here. Is it? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's fun. It's a little bit of a combo of art and lacrosse, which is really the same thing, isn't it? Creator's game. Beautiful yeah. game. Well said. So this is where I work out my knee, try to get better. This is where I work out my forearms, try to get stronger. All this mystery stuff, sponsor gear, leftover handles, gloves. These are my favorite helmets. So we have the inaugural All-Star Game 2019 helmet. The famous around the world. Here's Ramble. Behind the back. You said it. We have my final season with the Cannons. Record breaking points. So we're in the second half of the second quarter. Paul Rabel got the shot away. He scores! You said it. We have this hand painted Red Bull helmet. Cool videos. You said it. And we have the 2018 World Championship helmet from Natanya Israel. Gold medal. You're damn right. And actually, we have my Team USA indoor helmet from 2012. Not sure. Never seen it. Well, you also said that. <laughs> uh, but this is a tight helmet. What else do we have here? There's uh, you. Right there. No DJ. Oh, yeah. Via Keith Herring. And vinyls. Throwback Sports Illustrated cover. Shout out to sort of the home city. East Coast Eyes keeps us going on the targets. This is a throwback. Maybe we'll talk about that later. The OGs know I collected Beanie Babies and this is what Carrie Champion gave me from her Amazon studio show when we left because I nervously elbowed the sign and fucked it up. And you really liked it. I didn't realize this was my name. Yeah. Part. And now we'll That's fall. pretty great. Can and I take this fall. home? You can take this home and look at you. Who is this? Who's <laughs> that's this That's my brother Mike. Uh, hi, brother Mike. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's that. Oh, one more thing to show you that we got back here. 2021 oh. PLL Prep. Hard work pays off. Jay Dyer's Strength Conditioning Program. I've been slowly revisiting it and getting back into it. Uh, this is what got me back on my horse from 2020 to 2021. Here's an example. This is just one lower body workout day. Jeez. It's, I don't even know that many exercises. I mean, look, if you're trying to get pythons for legs, you contact Jay Dyer. And it's his 50th birthday coming up. So oh. shout out to JD. Happy 5 0. -oh. Doesn't look a day over 50, does he? No. No. <laughs> ah, before we get going, the ultimate weapon of choice. This was made a long time ago when I first met Jack Johnson of the Aquasasne. He made this really cool hickory stick for me. Got 99 on the top right there etched and then his signature on the inside jack and i have been working together ever since all right what else so what else we paintings about? yeah i was just working on these I was in joshua tree for the weekend to just read and plan for the season and this was a, a version of what was outside our airbnb nice. this is a throwback shout out to my mom and here we are a new piece so this isn't done i'm still working on this obviously that one has a ways to go Acrylic painting is much like lacrosse. You get to really put anything you want on canvas and then it dries really quickly. You can paint over it without mixing colors. So it's the art of repetition and trial and error and then ultimately coming up with something that is so unique to you that it makes you as talented a player as you can become, which is basically like stringing sticks. Yeah. You know, there was a debate in Fate of a Sport. Oh, I know. Opening scene. I was stringing my lacrosse head and talking about my experience in pro lacrosse and I was stringing bottom up and everyone's saying that you should string top down and they were challenging my stringing skills. So here's my debate, okay? Okay. I like to keep a mid to high pocket, which the OG channel notification squad knows. To get there, I always felt like stringing bottom up, you can pull the mesh high. So if you finish every time, pull, pull, it keeps pulling this direction. Top down, I felt like would pull down to a lower pocket. So that was why I always thought about stringing bottom up. Now, granted, I would do the top string first and that was that. So I have yet to hear anyone convince me otherwise. Now, granted, I've begun to outsource to Riley Martin probably 10 years ago, high strung lacrosse and he makes all of these basically identical. If you watch last year's edit, the year before edit, the year before edit. However, if you're not Riley Martin and you want a pocket like this, I would suggest stringing bottom up. How's that? You know, Romar Dennis is now using this style pocket. Really? Yeah. Before He's, or after champ series? Before. Ooh. Yeah. We were outside shooting and I go, hey, I think you need a better channel in your pocket. Some people just have wide pockets. My feeling is if you can have a channel like this, there's nothing like it because now all of a sudden you can feel the ball on your stick and you're able to throw fakes and just control. And when you catch, you know exactly where it is. And when you're cradling and switching hands, you know exactly where the ball's sitting. So I, I would encourage you, if you don't have a channel, figure out how to build one. Ultimately, when you're cradling, 
I want it to feel like this. Visually, here. So if we were like this all the time, we'd have no worry about control. Like a quarterback. That's how I feel like this. Here's the design of the head. We have our top string done, take one row of diamonds, and then we have our first nylon. I like to tuck my first shooter underneath that first nylon, then skip a space, one more shooter, that's it. The pocket should run right up against your first shooter, which allows you to keep it really loose. Because ultimately, when you're trying to achieve hold and a little bit of whip when you release, the natural tendency is to tie your shooters tight. If you get your pocket softly up against that bottom shooter, you get both, where you have a loose shooter, so you get a pure release on your pass. And if you have good sequencing and rhythm, you can lock the ball into that portion of the pocket and release as if you have whip. So look at the sidewalls here. We have a one, 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 skip a hole. One, 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 skip a hole. One, skip a hole. One, skip a hole. One, tie the last two. Done on both sides. And then I like the bottom string with another shooter. Pretty simple. Loop in four holes. Don't skip one, another four. And then you have the two diamonds on the outside that are tied in. If you hang here. Oh yeah. Very legal, sits so nicely, and that's your weapon of choice. I'm sold. Where can I get one? Well, unfortunately for you, you can't get Rabel 2s anymore. Because you have all of them right there. <laughs> this goes all the way back to 2015, 2016, and 2017. This was the second head I ever made with Warrior. The first one, I don't have. I kept the 2s because the 2 was naturally a better iteration. Stronger sidewalls, more complete, and uh, when they shut down making Rabel 2s, I did my best to collect as many as possible. Some of you out there have probably sent me some. Here's the lab right now. So if you come in here, get these Rabel 2s. You have to be strong. Riley's got some work to do. He's got some work to do, especially if they're... Uh, it was a moment in time where I decided to play again. What? Look at that. This is technically a city wall connecting the two neighbors there. So we wouldn't be in trouble for using this. It's not like we're playing against the neighbor's house, which I used to do growing up. All right, from the head now to the handle. This is a dragonfly shaft made by Epic. It was a throwback to an all-star game, Archers, Atlas, Cannons, Chaos, Chrome, Redwoods, Water Dogs. This was in San Jose. I like to do a couple of things. The first is I'll do a layer of tape because a lot of times heads will have that rattle, especially if you've used the handle and the head for a while. A layer of tape in there, then you put the head on, screw it, tape on the bottom, all right? So roll a tape just like this. I cut off a thin layer to start, I do the butt end first, sort of that bottom up tape like I do. For my mesh, I do the same thing here, and then I work my way each way, sort of meticulously. I like it to be even, because your fingers and your hand can really feel everything. So if your attention to detail is the right distance between rolls, you're just gonna be a better player. I feel like attention to detail, the things we can control is really important from the way we string our head to the way we tape our stick. Sometimes your butt end will get worn out and you just have to pop it off and then tape a new one. But that's how that bottom butt end is. And so I can pull across when I shoot. It gives me really good control and power. And that is my 2023 weapon of choice. It's beautiful. That you've seen on my Instagram and that you might see this summer in all circuits. Oh, I can't tell if you're being serious or not. <laughs>